and welcome back to another video. This week I have been to Sainsbury's for our shopping for a change. I've seen quite a few people online getting their shopping from Sainsbury's so I thought I would give it a go. I'm not sure if I've got as much for my money but one thing I will say with Sainsbury's is it's very tempting to get um, bits that maybe are more expensive or a bit more luxury than you would normally. So I have got quite a few sort of snacky bits and some nice ice creams and things because it's obviously the holidays and it's nice to have a bit of a treat. Excuse my voice, um, it seems to be a bit throaty for some reason, so I sound a bit croaky, but um, yeah, I will show you what we got and then the price will be on the screen at the end and then I'll share with you the meal plan. Okay, so starting with the fruit and veg, I've got some loose bananas. I think I've got seven or eight there, and they were £1.12. They are the fair trade ones, so I don't know if they're any more than the, nor like the normal ones, but they're really green, so hopefully by the time we've eaten the other bits and bobs, they'll be ripe. And then I've got two packs of Granny Smith's apples, because Henry's decided he likes those as well now, so they've both been eating those. So we've got two packs of Granny Smith's got some of the imperfectly tasty strawberries i mean they might be slightly smaller but they look fine and then also got the imperfectly tasty grapes i did order green but i think it's one of those you just kind of get what you get so we've got the red ones but that'll be fine or black I'm not sure what ones they are but they look nice anyway we've got those and then I've got some of the imperfectly tasty blueberries as well, mainly for Henry. We're not that keen on blueberries, but he loves them. So I've got him some blueberries for a change. And then the only fruit and veggie bits I got was just some tender stem broccoli. I do have some carrots and some normal broccoli still in the fridge. And I've got some frozen peas and mixed veg as well in the freezer. So I'm going to try and use that up. And then I've got a red pepper and a cucumber. I've still got some salad leaves in the fridge as well. So I just got the carrot, the carrot, cucumber and pepper to go with that as well, just to use up those bits. And then I got some blue milk, so just four pints. And then got some orange juice. I did order the smooth, but they subbed it for juicy bits, but that's fine. Don't know if the boys will like the juicy bits, but I do. So um, I would, me and my husband will drink it if they don't like it. Um, these are a bit of a treat. They're quite expensive. I think they're about three fifty or three seventy five each or something. But my husband used to go to Wasabi in London and get his lunch, and he really liked it. So I've bought these before, and they're really tasty. So we've got sweet chili chicken yakisoba. So you get like the lightly battered chicken with the sweet and sour, and then like a chow mein -y kind of thing. So we've got one of those each and they are a really big portion so they'll be nice for lunch one day this week and then got some dairily my husband wanted some cream cheese on toast so i got a dairily it was on offer for a pound so i've got that one got our usual extra mature british cheddar we get through a lot of cheese um this was an offer for two pounds it's the taste difference dry cured and mild ham I've really gone off cheap ham. Like I just buy it and then I don't fancy it. It gets watery and it smells funny. So I've started buying less but nicer ham. So I've got that one. I've got a big clover. It was on offer. Clover's my favourite one at the minute. I used to buy flora, but they've taken out the buttermilk now. I made it vegan. And so I prefer the taste of the clover, but I do always get the light one. So um, that was, I think it was, it might have been £3, but it was on offer for a big one. So I've got that. These Rolo desserts were on offer as well for 75p. So I've got two packs of those because you get two in each. So then we can all have one. So I've got those for a dessert. I've got a small whole chicken for Sunday. The beef brisket last week was okay, um, but not as nice as the, you know, the pepper, salt and pepper rump that I get sometimes from Tesco. But that is like eight pounds. So I just thought that is quite a lot of money to spend. So this chicken, I think, was three pounds. So I got that for this week. Oh, sorry, I'm yawning. It's eight o'clock in the morning. I've had this delivered. So hence the wild hair and the cardigan. 
but um yeah anyway um so i've got one of the beef rump steak i'm actually going to shred it and make crispy chili beef for my husband and i so i just got one got some of these british breaded chicken steaks for a dinner got a pack of two chicken breasts i've got one chicken breast in the freezer so i'm going to use this for curry so um i just got two so i'll defrost the other one and then that will be plenty um some cupboardy bits so i've got a custard to have i've got a strudel i'll show you in a sec so i've got some custard to go with that i've got this katsu it's like a powder and you mix it up with water and that is to go with these um breaded so we're going to do the breaded chicken with katsu sauce the tender stem broccoli and some rice so that will be a nice dinner then I've got a ooh, Patak's Tikka for curry. And I've got a chicken noodle soup. We've got tomato soup in the cupboard, but my husband likes chicken noodles. So I've got him one of those. I mean, the boys could have tomato soup. And then the bakery bits, I've got two loaves of 50-50. I'll stick one in the freezer. Um, I've got some more scotch pancakes for Archie to have for breakfast. And I've got a garlic and coriander naan for the curry. And then the snacky bits, I've got some Jammy Dodgers. They were on offer. I think they were 75p or maybe 80p. So I've got those. Got some of the Fox's milk chocolate cookies. I did order the ones that are dunked on the bottom, but they subbed them, but they're fine. Just less calories probably, but got those. Got some of these. The boys really like these as well, the go-ahead fruit and oat bake. So I thought they're handy to shove in my bag and take out with us for a snack. So we're going to go to a country park today to walk Duke and there's a park there. So I'll probably take some of those with us for a snack. And then I've got some of the pink iced ring donuts. They're Henry's favourite. And last time we went to Tesco's, Archie chose jam donuts. So I thought I'd get Henry um, some of his favourite ones. Got a pack of 10 of the mixed size British free range eggs. I do have a few left still, so I just got 10. Got some of the cheap pasta shapes. So they seem like they're more expensive than the Tesco one that you actually get a kilogram bag. So I think it's about 60 or 70p or something, but you get loads, so I'm going to fill my jar up. And then I got some frazzles for the crisp tin. I do still have a few odds and sods in the tin. So I just got some frazzles to top the tin up. Got a summer fruits for double four strength or quadruple strength, I suppose, squash. I'm not as keen on this because I still find you use more than you need. You make it too strong. What I tend to do is I have got a juice jug. So I tend to make a, a jug up and then leave it and the boys can just top their cups up then and that way they don't keep sloshing too much of it in the cup the only non-food item i got was one of these febreze plugins the lamb just smelling a little bit doggy now so um i thought i would get one of these to plug in so you get the plug thing and the perfume is that what you call it um and then obviously you can just buy the refill so i've got that to plug in and then the free to eat bits, I've got a deep pan pepperoni pizza for the boys and a fully loaded meat feast pizza for my husband and I. And then some puddings, I've got an apple strudel. You get two actually, which is really handy because Henry doesn't like it. So we just cook one at a time. So that will actually do us like two puddings. I've got my husband and I some Biscoff ice cream sticks and the boys some of the dairy milk ones. You can see what I mean. It's easy to get the... I don't know, when I stop at Sainsbury's, I just seem to want to get the luxury stuff for some reason. So I did get those for a treat, but still cheaper than if you go out and buy like an individual magnum each or whatever. So that's how I'm justifying it anyway. Um, I've got some of the cheap Yorkshire puddings. I've got some of these gastro lemon and black pepper soul fillets. My husband, me husband. My husband and I will have those and the boys have got some fish fingers left in the freezer and we will have it with some chips. So I've got some more crinkly cut chips and I've got beans in the cupboard. I've got peas in the freezer. So yeah, that is everything I got today. I'll put the price on the screen for you now. So I'm not sure if that was, 
if they are more expensive or if everywhere's just going up. I mean, I did get the posh ice creams, which were probably about six pounds. And I did get um, a steak for dinner and the ready meals are quite a lot. So I suppose I did get kind of just a few more luxury bits, but that's everything we got. And I'll pop it away and then I'll share with you the meal plan. Okay, and here is a look at our meal plan. So today is Thursday and we're going to have the chicken katsu with, um, so it's the breaded chicken with katsu sauce, rice and tender stem broccoli. Tomorrow is Friday, so we're gonna have our usual pizza night and we're gonna have pizza and chips. Saturday, we're going to have probably the chicken tikka with rice, naan, and I've got some bhajis in the freezer. Or we may have the crispy chilli beef. It depends what we fancy. So I will swap those two around possibly. We are going to have roast chicken on Sunday. And then Monday will either be the crispy chilli beef or the curry, depending what we haven't used. And then Tuesday, I'm going to do a slow cooker sausage casserole. And then Wednesday, um, it's going to be a bit of a using up what we've got. So I'm either going to do a bacon and veg kind of fried rice or I'm going to do a pasta dish. I've still got some ratatouille in the cupboard that I haven't used yet. So I may do a pasta dish with ratatouille and bacon and top it with some cheese. But we'll just kind of use up sort of something that we've got left over on the Wednesday. And then we won't be doing a food shop next Thursday for home because we're going on holiday on the Friday so what I'll probably do is video our food shop when we get it on holiday and do like a holiday edition and then the meals of the week will be kind of what we're eating on holiday so um that's what we're having this week if you'd like to see those meals they will be on my meals of the week video next Thursday for you so as always, thanks so much for watching guys. If you've enjoyed, please don't forget to give the video a like and subscribe for more foodie content. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks guys, bye.